Good morning. Happy um, Wednesday. Is this Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. Hi. <laughs> um, I am Abby. This is Cookies and Crochet. And my hat is lopsided. This is. It's funny. Okay. So I have a lot to share with you today and I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible because I don't want this to be an hour long video, but um, I have some finished objects to share with you today. I have some whips to share with you today and I have some books to share with you today. Um, no, I did not purchase them. They are not acquisitions. Um, they are from my library, but I am just so stinking excited about them that I wanted to share. So, shall we get started? Okay, do you have a cup of coffee or tea or pop or whatever you like to drink? You know, go get it. Okay, first let's talk about my finished objects, which I am wearing both of them. So the hat first um, is a tutorial on YouTube. And I don't know why it's sitting lopsided but anyway it's a really easy granny stitch hat I will link the tutorial down below if you are interested I love this hat um, it's very quick it's very easy um, I used some leftover sock yarn I don't know if you remember or not um, from my birthday socks um, I just used what I left, had left over, so um, this is the main part of the yarn, and then this was the contrasting mini for like the heels and toes. So I have a hat that matches my socks, and if I had thought ahead, I would have brought the socks with me. <laughs> I didn't think ahead. I just thought of it right now. Oh well. Maybe later I will show them. But anyway, so this is it. And I I have not washed it yet. Um, but I really like it's loose, you know, so. Um, and I like how it's, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's got the, um, the really cute gathered. Uh, see, it's one that goes sideways again. I don't understand that. Maybe my head is lopsided. Anyway, um, it's got the cute gather at the top, which I really, really love. Okay, so, and I wanted to finish this because it's it's got fall colors. I wanted to finish it so I could wear it because it's getting cold here now. Finally finished it. Um, what day did I finish it? I think I finished it Monday. Um, so anyway, I had started it <laughs> probably back in May. Uh, around the same time I did the socks. Yeah, so um, how many months is that? I don't know. Four months? Five months ago? I started it, got halfway through it, and then quit. But anyway, it's done now. The next thing I am wearing, my very first cardigan, y'all. My very first crochet cardigan. I'm going to stand up so you can see it better. Hopefully I can move the chair out of the way so you can see it. This is it. This is the um, Tammy sweater um, from Krista at the Secret Yarnery. It's her tutorial. And um, oh my goodness, I love it. It is, it's big. It is a big sweater. You see the big sleeves. Um, and I'll tell you all the trouble I had with it. Not that her tutorial had troubles. Her tutorial was really, really well done. It was very easy to understand. It was very clear. It was my own mistakes. I'm just saying that. But um, yeah, I love this. I love this sweater. Um, I washed it. And um, oh, I just, it's, it's really big. I like it. It's warm. <sighs> I'm already getting hot. <laughs> with the hat and the sweater on but I never made a cardigan before um if you go back I don't know sometime last year I have made a shrug and I've also made a ruana and I I talk about both of those in, in videos which I I may link down below if you're interested but I've never made a cardigan with sleeves and 
She actually posted this tutorial a year ago um, for October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I saw it at that time and I was like, oh, that's adorable. I love the sleeves. They, um, I call, I think they're called Dolman sleeves, but also known as bat wing sleeves. But anyway, so they're, they're easy. Um, but I just like, I, I, I like the look of the sweater and I was like, I really want to try that. But she also does the front post, back post, um, stitches for the cuff. I'll show you the cuff. And then also, um, the ribbing around the neck. Um, but I also did ribbing around the bottom of the sweater all the way around just two rows of it um, just because I thought my sweater looked a little plain without it she did not do it on hers but I did it on mine just because I thought it looked plain um, and some of the edges I didn't um, they didn't look all that even um, even after washing it was kind of noticeable now with hers it wasn't because she used a um, the yarn that she used had lots of different colors where mine were um, you know, it changes color gradually. So I think my edges were more noticeable than hers. So I did add the edge, the, um, on the bottom, I added that all the way around and that really helped. I think it looked really, really helped. So anyway, what I used to make this was the Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel from Hobby Lobby and the colorway is Warm Gingerbread. But I am, I'm Abby, so I ran out of yarn. Yeah, it took three to make the main body of the sweater. It took three. So right at this gray is where I ran out on both sleeves. And so I went back to Hobby Lobby, guys. I went back to get more, right? To get more of the same colorway. They didn't have any. They didn't have any. I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, but <laughs> I had to choose a different colorway and um, to try to coordinate. Uh, and I chose this one. Um, this So this is where it starts, this kind of dark brown, and it goes into the green and the orange and this light brown. And I did it on the same sleeve. I tried to match it as best as I could, but it is called Go Go Coco. And it's, it's a sugar bee. A uh, sugar bee. Oh my goodness. It's a yarn bee sugar wheel, but it's in the colorway Go Go Coco. So anyway, yeah. And then that's what I use to finish off the border and the bottom part. So it kind of looks like a scrappy sweater, <laughs> but I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I love the fall colors. I love fall. Spring and fall are probably my most favorite seasons. So I just wanted something warm that I could throw on, that I could snuggle with, and I was like, I am going to do this. Now, guys, um, and it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> Besides running out of the colorway that I, that I thought I had enough of, um, but uh, that's my problem. That's, I always choose what colors I like instead of the amount of yarn I need. I just I just do that but so when I got done with this part I finished it I stopped here you know because I ran out of yarn and I tried it on and I'm not sure why but for some reason I I was checking the stitches I didn't know if we were working on the inside or the outside so I turned it inside out well then when I started the sleeves and I finished one sleeve and then I realized that <laughs> it was twisted it was twisted so <clears throat> on the seam this is the right way I'll show you the seam and I would have Frida show you but it was it's way too big for Frida um, so poor Frida um, I'm gonna have to be the model today but anyway um so on the side seam no that's not where we joined it's under the arm am I Yes, here it is. So this is a very nice seam, and this turned out just the way it should, okay? <laughs> On this side, <laughs> this is not so pretty, and this is actually the back. Where is it? This is the back. See this kind of knotty area? This is where we seamed them together and then started up here, started the arm, the sleeve, and this is backwards. I decided 
to just leave it instead of ripping out an entire sleeve and starting over. I was like, I'm just going to leave it because I was, I was already, oh my goodness. It is not a hard pattern. It's not, it's not difficult, but be, there were some stitches I've never done before and the way she, you know, puts it together. So anyway, I, I really love, I really love the cuff. Um, she's, she did a great job. This sweater is really, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I highly recommend it if you're interested at all. Go check it out. I'll put a link down below. Um, just make sure you have enough of the same yarn before you start. <laughs> so you, you don't run into my problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to show you. really quick the books now I do not own these books I got them at my local library but these are just because I love books I love 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 books um, and I can't afford to buy <laughs> all the books that I want to buy but um so that's why I go to the library and check them out but um I am so I'm trying to learn more learn more in my knitting and there's lots of things I want to do in my knitting so that is why I go on there and look for these books so these are some fun books that I found oh my goodness what is that anyway so these are some fun books that I found and I've been looking through them but I there are some things that I wanted to talk to you about first of all Wendy Knits Lace is a book I found at my library so I did not buy this this is my, the library's um, and it's all about knitting lace and I've never done that before but I was so excited there are some things that I found that of course I want to make <laughs> okay first of all these socks these are the delicate vine socks Aren't those beautiful? Now, the only thing was these are, um, toe up. And I've only ever done cuff down. I have done toe up on crochet socks, but I have not done toe up knit socks. So that would be a whole new thing for me. So that's one thing I want to do. From this book, I'm I I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. Um, oh, this hat is really cute. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. This is the Ross Rossili Beach Watch Cap. Let's see if I can get it. Good. There. No. Nope. There. Isn't that adorable? I want to make that. I think that's so beautiful. Okay, then I found another thing. These beautiful, these are called es Esplanade Mittens. Look at those. Now, I've never done mittens before either, but this is something that I want to try. So we'll see. I really like how she puts on here the skill levels. Some, I have noticed some knit patterns do not have skill levels so I look at it and I'm like hmm could I do that or hmm maybe I can't but this says the for these mittens adventuresome beginner so I was like okay and the socks said the same thing adventuresome beginner I think let me go back yes adventuresome beginner the hat was also a oh no, I'll go back. Beginner. So these are beginner projects. So I'm not, you know, a lot of these things I see, I understand I'm in over my head and I won't be able to do them right away. But these are beginner patterns. So I feel confident that I could try them. The other thing I just happened to see when I was been crocheting and crocheting and crocheting and crocheting on this and then I did this so I was so stinking sick of crochet I was like I've got to knit I've just got to knit and so I didn't want to start 
uh, or work on a pair of socks because I want to finish a crochet sock first. But I found this gorgeous lace scarf. And um, I was a little nervous about starting it. And I was like, mmm. But again, it's, it's for the adventuresome beginner. So I'll just show it to you really quick. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Now, I decided to go ahead and start it. Okay, guys? And a lot. another thing I really like about these patterns, a lot of them use the DPNs, the double-pointed needles, or they use straight needles. I don't have a lot of the circular needles, and especially with socks and hats, I haven't learned how to do all that yet. I'm just more comfortable right now with the DPNs and of course I love straight needles. I think I've told you that. I just think they're they're awesome. Anyway, so I started this scarf and it's the Cran Cranborn scarf. And I am using this lovely let me show you the yarn real quick because I'm so stinking excited. <laughs> because it's called autumn leaves and I am just all about the fall right now so yeah it's called autumn leaves let me take it out of the bag because guess what guys this is an Amazon warrior skein from Catherine at Crafternoon Treats I bought this last year sometime and there's so much here that I didn't know what I was going to use it for but I just I just I, I love the colors so much that I was like, I have to use it for something. But I didn't know what it what I could use it for. But I thought for this pattern, for this scarf, I thought it would be perfect. And it is. So this is a 500 gram cake. And she wound it for me. She sold it wound, ready wound. It's a light DK. It's non-superwash. It's 100% British wool. Oh my goodness. So I love this. I love it. Do you guys see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love it. So anyway, I was like, okay, well, and it comes in this bag to keep it safe. But anyway, so I was like, I, I want to start it. So I did. And I'm using these straight needles. It calls for four millimeter needles, but because I knit, my knit seems, tends to be tight. I, I started with a five and um, it was still too tight when I was doing the cast on. I had to rip it out at least four times. Um, and I still don't know. I, I had to learn the new cast on. I learned the lace cast on, which was a little, when I was reading the directions, she had the directions in the front of the book. When I was reading it, I, I didn't quite get it, so I did I did have to look on YouTube for a video, but I after I saw it, I was like, that's no problem. But anyway, so I learned a new cast on, the lace cast on, for this scarf, and like I said, I had to, because the stitches were so tight, and I wasn't even trying to get them tight, they were just tight, they just, I don't know, maybe I was nervous, a little nervous, um, trying a new cast on and because I had to rip it out at least four times and start over um, but anyway so I'm using these beautiful needles I love these needles these are aluminum I believe but they are um, and they're not heavy but um, I really love the straight needles so I started my first scarf and I'm really excited about it so we'll see how that goes. See how it goes. <sighs> okay, let's move on to my works in progress. And I am getting really hot. I'm gonna take a sweater off. <sighs> okay, with the hat on and the sweater, it's just a little bit warm. Okay, I don't wanna take the hat off because I'm afraid my hair's gotten smushed and it'll look silly. So I'll just leave the hat on. But I am trying really hard I don't know. Yeah. I had um, knitted this. Not knitted. No. Crocheted. I crocheted this sock, I believe, back in May um, 
for a video and I never did the mate to it. I never made the mate to it. And these are pretty fall colors and I thought it would grow great with my cardigan and my hat. And so I am working on it right now. I am, they're just little ankle socks. Um, but I've got the, this is the cuff, the heel flap, and I'm now working, I already did the gusset, I'm now working on the foot. So, I want to get that done. These go really quick, so I think I'll, I'll, if I'm able to work on it today, I'll probably, I'll probably get it done today. But our van is in the shop. They just called us and it's ready to be picked up. My van broke down. So, um, anyway, we have to go pick that up later. <laughs> I tell you, our, our, the battery in our van, uh, so we had to get a new battery. It was an old battery and wasn't working right. And so we got a new battery and then I, I, I'm sorry guys, this keeps messing around. So we got a new battery and then all, all the whole week I was having trouble with it, uh, starting my van went start and trying to get the kids to school and me to work and pick everybody up and get everybody uh, and, and running errands and then taking my son to work i mean it was just it was a real nuisance um but thankfully it, it never died on in traffic we never you know but so anyway well then monday morning this this past monday it wouldn't start at all it just wouldn't start at all so we took it in and they had to fix a few things and we're getting it back today Sorry, I saw something up there. Anyway, <laughs> how did I get onto that? Oh, so things have been a little crazy, um, but I, I think I will be able to finish that sock either tonight um, or maybe tomorrow night after work, I'll be able to finish it. But really excited about that. Also, some other things. Oh, I wanted to keep you up to date on my... Annie's block of the month, but I don't know what is my time. Oh, I'm already at 27 minutes So I may share that on another video. Okay, because um, That's a lot. I've gone through a lot already um, But I did some reorganizing in my yarn room last night because my yarn room had kind of gotten um, <laughs> Disorganized I hadn't really had time to keep it Sorry to keep it <laughs> tidy. So last night after the kids and hubby went to bed, I stayed up and I tidied up my little yarn room and got some things organized. And so I'm really, I, I just work better in a tidy organized area, if you know what I mean. And same with my kitchen too. If if my kitchen's a mess, I can't go in there and just cook or bake. I, I have to have a clean kitchen. But sometimes that will, that will, um, discourage me from cooking or baking because I don't want to clean it up. <laughs> mm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I made with my brother. Um, <laughs> uh, my brother uh, has a channel on Twitch. He, he plays video games and streams it live and they were playing a um, Lord of the Rings game. And they had this idea to make Lumba's bread, which is in the movie. And uh, so he asked if I could help because um, he he had the recipe already. And, um, you know, he had the, in, the ingredients, but he's just like, I need some help. And I was like, okay, sure. So we made that video together and he um, had a watch party on his channel, um, Polycarp86. He had a watch party and they watched the video that we made. Um, so anyway, I just thought for fun, if you guys wanted to see that, so I, I shared that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I told him, <laughs> I said, you know, since I, you know, made a video with you for your channel, maybe, maybe you should make a video with me for my channel. He's like, oh, <laughs> I said, yeah, you could sit there and hold the yarn while I talk about it. <coughs> anyway, so we'll see if he goes for that. But anyway, um, I think that's all I'm going to um, share about because, yeah, I'm at 30 minutes now. So thank you so much for watching. God bless and take care. And I will see you in the next video. And um, um, I think that's all. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Frida, I'm so sorry I didn't let you get to talk today. Okay, bye. Thank you.